protocols and standards. To send or receive information, sender can't simply send bit streams and expect receiver to understand. There should be some rules on which both sender and receiver agree upon. Protocol is a set of rules and regulations framed to carry out the communication effectively and efficiently. These protocols are the building blocks of computer networks. Protocol defines format of messages within a layer. Violating protocols makes communication more difficult or impossible. The essential elements of a protocol are syntax, semantics, and timing. Syntax. The term syntax refers to the format of the data, the order in which the data is presented. A simple protocol might expect the first eight bits of the data to be the address of the sender, the second eight bits of the data to be the address of the receiver, and the rest of the stream to be the message itself. Semantics refer to the meaning of each section of bits. Interpreting a particular pattern in the packet and taking some action is nothing but semantics. Timing refers to two characteristics, when data should be sent and how fast the data should be sent. If a sender produces data at 100 Mbps, but the receiver can process data only at 1 Mbps, the transmission will overload the receiver and some data will be lost. Standards. There are some standards that have been adopted by vendors and manufacturers for effective communication and interoperability. For example, IEEE standards. Some standards must be followed when a new design is to be formulated. For example, 802.3 standards lays down the specification related to Ethernet. So if anyone were to design a software or hardware related to Ethernet, they would have to follow those specifications. Then that new design would work with all the pre-existing as well as future softwares or hardwares of Ethernet. Data communication standards fall into two categories. De facto standards, meaning by fact or by convention. These standards have not been approved by an organized body but have been adopted as standards through widespread use. De facto standards are often established originally by manufacturers who seek to define the functionality of new product or technology. De jure standards, meaning by law or by regulation. These are the standards that have been legislated by an officially recognized body. Standards are developed through the cooperation of standard creation committees, forums, and government regulatory agencies. Some standard creation committees are International Organization for Standardization, ISO, American National Standards Institute, ANSI, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE. Layers and Services a computer network is a combination of layers, services, and protocols. The whole process of communication via a network can be divided into separate layers. Purpose of layering is to reduce the design complexity of networks. The task of sending a message from one point in the world to another can be broken into several subtasks. Each subtask is performed by a separate layer, and each layer has its own hardware and software. At the lowest layer, a signal or set of signals is sent from the source computer to destination computer. A service is a set of operations that a layer provides to its upper layer or an interface between two layers, with the lower layer being the service provider and the upper layer being the service user.